Hello, it is May 19th, and this is Thoughts from the Word. Well, hello, it's good to be back with you for Thoughts from the Word. Today we're going to look at the section entitled Mem, which begins in verse 97 of Psalm 119. If you have your Bibles turned there, I will put it up on the screen for you. Hear now the word of the Lord. Oh, how I love your law. It is my meditation all the day. Your commandment makes me wiser than my enemies, for it is ever with me. I have more understanding than all my teachers, for your testimonies are my meditation. I understand more than the aged, for I keep your precepts. I hold back my feet from every evil way in order to keep your word. I do not turn aside from your rules, for you have taught me. How sweet are your words to my taste, sweeter than honey to my mouth. Through your precepts I get understanding, therefore I hate every false way. The grass withers and the flower fades, but the word of our Lord endures forever. Amen. In this section of uh, the psalm, the psalmist now is focusing to, towards himself and what the word of God means to him. He shares of his love because the word is his meditation. It's what he thinks about, what he dwells on all day. He realizes and he states that the, the word of God, the Bible, makes him wiser than his enemies, more understanding than all of his teachers, uh, understand more understanding than the aged, than the older folks, and it keeps him from uh, turning to evil ways. We can learn a lot from there for our understanding, our knowledge, and, and, and our, our safety spiritually comes from our reading of the Word. Applying the Word to our hearts, putting it into our lives. We should be reading the Word each day. We should be studying the Word each day. We should be memorizing the Word each day. And we should be meditating on it, thinking it over and over and over, dwelling on it, longing on it, making it our meditation all day long, longing for it and thinking through it so that it, we, we get it into our, our body, into our system. It should sweet, taste sweeter to us than honey to our mouths so that we develop such a love for the Word that we hate anything else contrary to it. I have to ask you, as I ask myself, do I love the Word that much that I love it so much that I hate everything else that... Uh, is outside of it or contrary to it. Well, let's hear from our uh, Puritan brothers today. Today's reading is entitled, God Stoops to the Weak and Unworthy. <laughs> Who are we and what is our Father's house that you have brought us here? And now, O Lord God, what will your servants say to you? We are silenced with wonder and must sit down in astonishment. We cannot utter the least of your praises. What does the height of this strange love mean? And what does it mean to us that the Lord of heaven and earth should descend to enter into a covenant with dust and take into his bosom the viperous brood that has so often spit their venom in his face? We are not worthy to be as the handmaids, to wash the feet of the servants of our Lord. How much less are we worthy to be your sons and heirs and to be made partakers of all these blessed liberties and privileges you have settled upon us. But for your goodness' sake, and according to your own heart, you have done all these great things. Even so, Father, because it seemed good in your sight. This is why you are great, O God, for there is none like you, nor is there any God beside you. Amen. And amen. That was from Joseph Aileen. Well... Let's close our time today in prayer. Almighty God and Father, we thank you for your grace and for your mercy. We thank you that you have carried us through uh, to this day. You've brought us here. And Lord, that you are providing and caring for us. We thank you, O Lord, that you have seen fit to uh, draw us near to you. Even when we have strayed far from you, you call us and and, and woo us to return to you. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we pray that your word would be sweet to us, sweeter than honeycomb, and that it would be our sole desire to know your word, to grow in your word, to walk in your word, that we would not slip and fall into the paths of the unrighteous. Lord, give us your faith, deepen our faith, and make us to be the men and women of God you desire us to be today. 
But Lord, we thank you and we praise you now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you for being with us today. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow as we have some more thoughts from the Word.